Hello there, everyone. Welcome to New Heights Wrestling. My name is Jeannie Jem. On this episode, we will see the New Heights Wrestling Pride Championship on the line as the Natural 20, Drake Savior, with Princess Josh, takes on our current champion, Mr. Personality. Mr. Personality is all fired up today and ready to put his title on the line. Never afraid of competition, tonight is just another night in the life of Mr. Personality. Our cameras are standing by with him right now. That's right. Get a good shot of that title because that means Mr. Personality is in the building of the Funiac Springs, Florida for New Heights Wrestling. Drake and Josh, I see y'all all over the multiverse of New Heights Wrestling causing mayhem. But just know when you go one on one with Mr. Personality, he's going to nick that right in the bud. You're welcome. Hey fans, it's the man they call Dave with producer Joe and you probably know us as the commentary team for New Heights Pro Wrestling, but when we're not doing that, we got a podcast. That is the Working Fans Podcast where we talk pro wrestling, comedy, MMA, and so much more. And tell them about that signature segment. Oh, you talk about the 531? You know I am. That is a homegrown creation that has been our namesake. And if you want to know our namesake, we got Chevy, AJ Strange Brew, as well as the two of us. And why don't you go to our uh, channel, like, subscribe, show us some love, rate, review, all of it. Hey there, everyone. My name is Jeannie Jem. And if you're enjoying what you're watching here at New Heights Wrestling, please make sure you like, share, and subscribe here on YouTube. You can also find us on other forms of social media like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Be sure to share with your friends. Let them see all the exciting action that New Heights Wrestling has to offer. And then I want to hear from you. Put your comments down below. I want to know what you love about New Heights Wrestling. Thank you so much for checking out New Heights Wrestling. And remember to always stay sparkly. Check out the fast-paced action wrestling card game, Go Fight Pow! Create your own intergalactic fight club and play out the results of your own wrestling company, featuring over 100 unique characters and some of wrestling's hottest stars of past and present. The possibilities are endless. Visit gofightpow.fws.store and become a promoter today. Step up to the table and join us as New Heights Wrestling presents Aces High, Catch all your New Heights Wrestling favorites on August 10th. It's going down at the Walton County Fairgrounds in Defuniac Springs, Florida. Message New Heights Wrestling tickets at gmail.com and get your tickets today. Tickets are general admission $8, front row is $15, kids 6 to 11 are $6, and kids 5 and under are free. That's a word from our great sponsors. Welcome back. Before the break, we heard from Mr. Personality, and he is not afraid of a challenge. That's a good thing, because he will have an incredible challenge before him in the form of the Natural 20 Drake Savior. Drake will be accompanied to the ring by Princess Josh and is ready to claim gold for Cerise Sex Mortis. Earlier today, our cameras were able to get a word with Cerise Sex Mortis. Let's go to that footage now, then we will go to Joe and Dave at ringside for this Pride Championship match. Boys, today is a glorious, wonderful day. You see, Shane, I know you were one of the greatest Pride Champions to ever exist in this company, but tonight, our homeboy, the one and only Drake Xavier, is wanting to step up where we couldn't succeed last show. While we had to deal with Waylon, this one right here wants to step up. After proving himself time and time again, especially exposing the light for the weakness that it is, you, Drake, you've got the best plan. Tell, tell him the plan. Tell him the plan. I don't want to spoil the plan, but... Come on! Okay, okay. First things first. I'm taking the pride title. For me! For Pride Month! For the princess they sell. Right? Look at how much rainbow I got on, right? <laughs> Nobody has more pride than the princess of the South. And tonight, you will be the pride of the South. You will be the pride in my eye, Drake. That is, if you win. 
do not fail me tonight, right? When I win. When you win. Yeah, that's right. And don't worry, we've already handled Waylon and everything like that, so we'll pretty much show him up really soon. So, boys, it's going to be a simple, easy night. Let's go capture some gold. New Heights Wrestling Pride Championship on the line. Kelly Clark Tracy. Two of the hottest young wrestlers in New Heights Wrestling. And hey, two of the hottest commentators? Well, we think so. The man called Dave, producer Joe. And Joe, I'm excited for this. Oh, speaking of a buzzkill, though. Looks like he's making his way out here with Princess Josh. We've had the honor of being able to interview both competitors in this match. Yes. Drake a little more reserved until he gets into the ring, and then Drake just goes all out for Princess Josh and three sets of points. The winner of the Dungeons and Death match at our last event, coming off that the high of that win. I would say Drake Xavier is on the biggest role he's ever been on in New Heights Wrestling right now. Coming off that win over Samuel Pendragon, and now he has the opportunity for gold against Jeffy Clark. And not just the biggest role of that dodecahedron. We've heard Princess Josh reference it a couple times, but think of how big a get that would be to bring home the Pride Championship during Pride Month. I'm have to go through this young man, though. Student of the game. Yeah, so before we get into talking about Kelly Clark, we just want to wish a happy Pride Month to everyone out there from New York Absolutely. All and welcome here. And when we've heard Kelly Clark, we've talked to him a couple of times. Student of the game, just wise beyond his years, and really come into his own since winning that Pride Championship. Absolutely. We saw everyone at the Bulldog Bash lose their minds when he won it. We've seen crowds go wild seeing him defend it, but this is a big obstacle in his way with Drake Xavier on the other side of the room. Just the confidence you get from winning a Dungeons and Death match. The confidence you get from having Princess Josh in your corner. Absolutely. Will it be Drake's time for gold? <laughs> Kelly Clark just confident on the other side of that ring, trying to get the people behind him. Because he knows that they're not going to be behind Cerise Sex Mortis. Listen to the sound in this building right now. Yeah. A little Macho Man Sabu there. Billy spends a lot of his off time watching tape looking for mm -hmm. what he can add to the arsenal. It is interesting. Uh, I noticed that when he was coming out, too. You are talking about the macho man. Like, you know, just little things, even his mannerisms. I noticed, like, the tag team, the American males almost, right, when he's doing the, the hand gestures over his head. We've seen in the matches before, too, where he'll pull out things from, like, Larry the Axe Penny or, you know, stuff from, like, the Armstrong. This guy pulls up so much different stuff. He just... You never, never know. And it's never like, it's never heavy-handed. Like, you see that? There were just shades of Leparca yeah. there. Yeah, Leparca, right, yeah, very good. It's just so many different people he's pulling from. He's like this wrestling savant, you know? And pulls from the best of everyone to entertain the crowd, yeah. to get them behind him. But then it even, it goes down to how he is in the ring. When he is wrestling, that's less for entertaining the crowd. He is taking the best of what the greats have shown in the ring yes, and, and using it to punish his and opponent. And making it his own, you know? He's making it his own, and hey, he's even pulled, we know this from uh, New Heights Wrestling's Cali Man, right? He, you know, he grew up watching Cali Man, and there was a mention, and it fell apart, 
But hey, this kid's still learning. And look, there's maybe a little Cali man right there, right? And I was taken aback by that. It was almost a little uncharacteristic <laughs> of Cali man <laughs> to give those type of flowers to Kelly Clark. But it's hard to deny the talent on the other side of the ring. Yes, no, no doubt. Big collar and elbow tie wow. up here. Kelly forced to the corner there from Drake. Hands to the face there a little bit. Giving that break. Oh, going for the chop misses. Kelly ducks oh. under. Oh. We saw Drake earlier slipped on the ropes a little bit. Is he, is he a little intimidated by Kelly? Clark? They're just a bad omen, you know? That Kelly getting in his head here. Kelly embarrassing him a little on the other side there. That's not a good move. Because as we've seen since Drake has debuted in North Wrestling, and I say it all the time about Drake, but it needs to be said that he's gotten a little more vicious, mm -hmm. gotten a little more underhanded since joining Cerise Ex Mortis. But he's yet to taste gold. This is his big opportunity here. Kelly was an anytime, anywhere championship as well, and now the Pride Championship. So Kelly, you know, if I'm not mistaken, I feel like Drake might have held that anytime. Oh, anywhere champion. you might be you see, these quick title changes they throw happen me. so quick that, yeah. especially in the heat of the moment. I mean, we've had like three anytime <laughs> championship matches tonight alone. So, but yeah. it's that Pride Championship. It's it's such a sign of pride in New Heights yeah. wrestling when you hold it. But I think Kelly's just had more experience in championship matches at this point, and I think. And look at that neck breaker by Kelly, too. Tremendous. I think Drake is, this is a big opportunity for him. And maybe, maybe he's feeling a little butterflies, and maybe that's why he slipped on that rope. And if you look back to how former Pride champions have ha handled losing that title, Shane Gibson went on a downturn, ended up in Cerise Ex Mortis after it. If you look at what happened to Omkar, yeah. he had such a pride holding it and then when he lost it just never got back to where he was so yeah it's an important title very important okay watch kelly oh just take a tap to celebrate with the fans it's always good the people love him making his way around the oh, ring wait a minute. what does he have oh, oh. drive by drop kick I was just about to question, has Kelly taken his eye off the ball, but right in time delivered Watch that out, drop yeah. kick. Look at Princess Josh falling. Ducking the lariat Ooh. there from Drake Xavier. Catching that big right hand. Oh! That might have been enough of a distraction. Yes, it was. Series X Mortis. Working around as a unit here. Mm. Drake pushing Kelly back into the ring. Josh did enough there to not to get disqualified. He didn't really hurt Kelly, but it did provide a distraction. Yeah, it took his attention off of Drake for a minute there. And now, Drake Xavier is in the driver's seat. Big kick to the back there. That shows you the value of somebody like a Princess Josh and what they bring to the table. We may not like it, but it was effective. Drake Xavier there mocking the big clap from Kelly Clark. Oh, look at this. Gut wrench. Uh, yeah. Showing some strength. Oh! oh effortlessly beautiful. putting him up and over and back onto that mat. Nicely done. Drake standing Kelly up here. Look at the classic vertical suplex now. Oh, oh, snap suplex right on the back. Yeah, Staying on top of Kelly there, rolling it back over. Not the most snap. powerful pin, but did stay on him. Went right for that pin. Oh, Got to be a little Careful. intimidation mixed in with the punishment here. Going for that leg. Oh, dropping it now. Looking for some direction from Princess Josh. Oh. Oh, oh hey, I saw Brand. There we go, and greatest oh, move in all the realms oh, of the world. Oh, was a got the roll up. One, two, oh. oh. Two and a half. He kicks out. 
Oh! Drake Saber fires up with that boot, though. Wow. I'll tell you, that was some great athleticism by Drake Saber. Yeah, no matter how we feel about the associations Drake makes, you can barely compare to him in the ring. Tell you, these are two of the top young talents in New Heights. We said at the beginning, they're showing it right now. He's got the athleticism. Oh. He's got the mat wrestling, and he's got the devious individual in his corner. I thought we were about to see a magical missile there. I think he sensed the crowd might enjoy that, so he did not do it. Yes, if there's one thing that Princess Josh and Drake Xavier want to do, they want to send the crowd here at the Walton County Fairgrounds yeah. home very unhappy. Yeah, see? They get enjoyment out of everybody else's misery here, that's for sure. Walking on that back, standing on that neck with Kelly's throw on that rope. Watch out. Uh -huh. Kelly in danger there, and as the ref is got his attention diverted, a little quick eye poke from the Princess of the Southeast. Lining up. Oh! Uh -huh. You expected a big boot to the back. No, uh -huh. going right back to that rear chin lock. Yeah, very uh, almost preoccupied on making sure not to give the people anything they may want here. Look at Kelly firing up though. Oh, big devastating hit to the back from Drake Xavier and returning to that chin lock. I mean, it's got to be noted since we lost Francisco Chiazzo, we have seen Cerise Ex Mortis hit this different gear, wanting to pay tribute, oh. but wanting to pay tribute in the only way they know how, and that's just take it out on their opponents. Yeah, through violence. Oh. Wow! That could be it. One, two, two. Oh. Kelly showing that great heart he's known for. We've seen a little frustration build up on Drake Xavier here. I'll tell you, when you talk about some of the top talent here at New Heights Wrestling, one of the things you'll see, guys like the Suicidal Soldier, Exodus, and now Kelly Clark, great heart. We've seen them in tough situations, but they can battle back. They're never out. Bouncing Kelly's head off the top turnbuckle there. Letting up Kelly with some chops. Drake going to the other side of the ring. Could we be seeing it here? Oh, oh, big boot to the face. I don't know what Drake had planned, but that's what he received. Look out. Fast pace action back and forth. Kelly skins the cat, it looks like, or he's attempted. Yep. Back into the ring. Oh, beautiful drop kick there. Both feet connected right on Drake's chest. Both both competitors down right now. Gut check time, as we like to say here. You can see Kelly trying to get the people behind him, trying to get the people rallying him up. Princess Josh got this referee distracted, though, in the meantime. If anything, if he's buying a little bit of a timeout, it does give Kelly a chance to take a break here, too. They both needed that. Drake up to a knee, Kelly up to a knee, Drake first to his feet, Kelly now to his feet. Yes. Threw a right, blocked it. Again. Oh, wind up. Oh. Shades of Dusty Rhodes there. Fire and Drake into the ropes. Reversal. Duck oh. under. Once again. Oh, oh, coming off the ropes. Big double axe handle yeah. there. Drake trying to compose himself in that opposite corner. This is not looking good. Might be looking for that super kick. Josh can sense Gene Danger. Got up there to distract Kelly. Now getting oh, the ref's attention. Man. Giving Drake just enough time to attack on the back there. Josh has come up so big for Drake. Time and time again in this match. We know oh. what he's lining up for. Magical missile oh. in the corner there. Going for the pin. One, two, oh! I think before, he didn't want to do it. He wanted to make sure he didn't give the people anything to want, but at this point, 
he's getting a little more desperate. He wants to put Kelly away. He wants to win that title. Yeah, so he's, he's getting frustrated. Yeah. He thought he's handled Kelly, thought he had him in the right spot. But Kelly, Kelly just showing that heart that the New Heights wrestling crowd knows he has. He's going to try to do it again here. Oh, wow. Oh. Kelly flies out of the corner with that heart attack clothesline there. And Drake was not expecting that. Once again, looks now, like he's getting ready for that big super kick. Yeah. Josh has to be getting nervous on the outside. Up on the apron. Once again. Oh, big right wait, hand. Wait, 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 wait. What was oh. in there? Wait a minute. It was the brass knocks. Kelly's out. Picking Kelly up now. What is this? Oh, oh. into the pile driver. Hook him the leg for the pin. Two, three. It's over. We got a new champion. No. Sorry, Dave. I'm, I'm in a little bit of stunned silence. Drake might have gotten popular, but not like us, but not like this, please. Mm. Wow. Drake has Dark achieved days. gold in New Heights Wrestling. Dark base for New Heights Wrestling. Just Josh celebrating. They would argue they put the pride in Pride Month. These are good times for Drake and the Princess. You can hear the crowd not happy about us. No, we are they love Kelly Clark here. We are stunned. We knew Drake Xavier was going to new levels of violence, but we did not expect with the, the nuts in the ring. Well, we should have. They will do whatever it takes. Three sex mortis has gold. Once Drake, again. All we have is hurt feelings, but if you want to catch up with New Heights Wrestling, search New Heights Wrestling, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. Use that hashtag in HW Pro. But most importantly, thank you for joining us. Good night, everybody.